What's up, mechanics? Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Vim Tools headquarters for another Tool Tuesday. We have one new product to show. Actually, two. What? We have oh, two yeah. new products two, to two. show. Yep, two. So, we'll, actually, we got questions first. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I'm all, <laughs> we just jumped right into it. First question. Can you ship to Australia? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we do have distributors that ship internationally. You can find them on our website when you go to the Find a Distributor tab. We're going to have a section that's international distributors, right? Yes, so it'll be a part of international distributors. A lot of them will be Canada because it's based off the distributors that have signed up for it. So most of them are Canada, but we will have a few outside of the U.S. that are not Canada. Jack, hurry up. International we actually have an internal so right now. He's just <laughs> entering in all of the dealers. So, you know, every, every minute here, we're getting more and more. So if you, I think our distributors that ship internationally can ship everywhere except for like Yemen and Iran. The, the Middle East, a lot of them don't ship. Yeah. Them. So if you're not in those places, you're good to go. Find them on our website. Yeah, if your distributor wants to be added to the find your distributor portion of our website, email in your name, phone number, address, and email. That's it. That, in, that can, includes trucks. So if you're an independent mobile, dealer, if you're mainly flagship or independent, yeah, yeah, mainly mobile trucks. We'll put you on our website as a distributor Anyone so that people can find tools, you. Reach out. Y'all should make pry bars. Oh, I thought you were talking about like, y'all what? That's, what? that's one of yeah, the questions. I thought that was you saying it. You don't say y'all. Okay, cool. Um, y'all should make pry bars. Well, the thing is... There's already a lot of people making pry bars out there. Not that there's not a lot of people making wrenches or other things like that. But it is not really something that we've looked into because it's been a lot of American made and for the right price point. So it's not necessarily a, a bread and butter item for a company that hasn't already had their hands dipped in it. But um, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. I'm sure this has been asked before, but if any of my Vim tools items become obsolete, what would happen when I warranty them? Well, when you go through your original form of purchase, you go through your distributor. If the item hasn't, if the item is discontinued and they don't have any in stock, they can issue you a credit for whatever that item was worth. And if they won't, you can always come to us. Maybe we have some in stock. We have stock on a lot of stuff that's been discontinued. So, but if we don't, we will issue you a credit for the value of that product at the time that it was discontinued. So, so you'll be getting something back for it so that you can use it to purchase something else. Or we'll give you something similar. Maybe there's been yeah, an updated exactly. item. If there's a superseded item, we'll give you the superseded item. Yeah. You're still taken care of. Do you make the V458L in an SAE hex? Do we? In an SAE hex, we have the HXL100. Yeah. There you go. It's, yeah, so that is HXL100 is the SAE version. HXLM100 is the metric version. Bam. Okay, next question. This is by 260 Jake, who's an independent dealer. Two huge asked by my customers on route. SAE ratchets, SAE ratcheting wrenches matching the metric set, half inch socket sets, mainly impact grade. Please tell me these are on the list. So they are on that list. They're just, you know, they're pretty far down that list. So because to begin with, those are new items. So the SE versions are still a little bit out. We haven't really started making them yet. So that that point, we don't know or have an ETA when they're coming, but they are on that list. Yeah. And that's it for questions. Okay, now into the product. Would you like the honors? You you take it. Okay. You were eyeing it, so I mean, you know. I, I'll take the next one. RFW 200, guys. Now, this is the big boy set from 22 all the way up to 32 millimeters. I mean, that's a that thing is crazy. I think it's huge. You guys were asking for bigger ones? We got them. So it works just like the RFW 100 that you guys have all sold out of pretty easily. You guys bought up all the inventory. Now we do have a limited amount of these. We have more coming, but these are in now in a limited stock. So place your order sooner rather than later, because I know these are going to sell out in a matter of probably a week. And I'm gonna get a lot of angry people saying, why didn't I know about them? So they're here, order them, tell your local tool dealer, do what you got to do. Make sure you get them because they won't last very long. And uh, we'll have more in what? Probably another month and a half after that. Yeah. So if you want to be one of the first 750 people with them, Place an order. <laughs> All right. Do we want to tell them about the other sets? <clears throat> so, uh, fuck it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to do what you guys asked and bring in the complete sets. So there will be three ratcheting flare nut sets. RFW 100, RFW 150, and RFW 200. And it's going to go the entire way with no skips other than 9mm, I believe, from 
8 to 32. An entire array of them in three sets. So mm-hmm. keep your eye out for that. We'll talk about it as they come out. But for now, the RFW200 is what you're looking for. I think the next video that we do on Instagram is going to be a torque test. Let's do see a torque how, test of the big boy. See how much load they can handle. Well, let's do the big and let's do one of the smalls. Let's do like the 10 millimeter. Let's do uh, it. And that one. So a lot of you like to talk shit. Well, that's the number one question. People ask, people say... Torque? It's a fair question. It well, really I want to mention actually, because people think that um, this pin is going to take a lot of the load and that that's going to be the first thing that breaks. This overlaps with itself, and if it's ever going to expand, it's going to bite on the bottom jaw. It's that pushing against each other. It's That's what's so expanding. It pushes against itself, which in, impedes it from expanding. So the pin hasn't really got stress on it. It takes pressure off of the pin. So... That's just like a little feature. Yeah, so the, the pin really doesn't have a lot of stress on it. And actually, believe it or not, I know it's people say it. We haven't got, no, we got one. We got one individual piece back out of the thousands that we've already sold. Not from the bigger one, from the smaller one. It has so, been just one. It's been one piece. But hey, who knows? You might believe me, you might not, but that's what happened. RFW 200, moving on. We have here, you guys all know the SPM 100. I believe we talked about this before, but I'm gonna talk about it again because you know, why not? It's a beautiful little set. MSPM 100, it's like our SPM 100, except it's 12 piece instead of 13 piece, as you can see, pretty similar. A lot of you complained about that rubber insert that you don't like it, so we came out with the magnetic insert version. So this is a full magnetic set of spark plug sockets. You can see the full array of sizes here. Melissa will have that part number up here so you can actually look up everything that it comes with. It includes the 14 millimeter 12 points for the BMWs in both deep and shallow. And the way you can identify that without actually having to look at the 12 point is the split in the knurling right here as opposed to the straight knurling. 12 point, six point. And boom, see? 12 and they're point thin out. wall. And they are thin wall. And all the UJs are spring loaded. Yes, that is another feature that I would have gotten to if he would have given me time to do it, but he didn't. <laughs> so, spring loaded universal joints in it as my colleague rudely interrupted with, but that is it for the MSPM 100. Yeah, MSPM 100. Go on. Something that we mentioned in the last episode was that we have a Talk truck. Talk about God. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is the Torx TBS, which fits most models of trucks. Um, I'll put it right here so you can just see the sizes. IP45 through EP24. So this is for the Fords. You have everything else that fits, you know, even European trucks. So this is a great set, especially if you're removing a lot of truck beds. If you gotta bust them bolts, that's the way to do it. That's Torx TBS. And those so are all the, the, the half cut 3.8 square drive, these guys are, from our Impact 50, which if you've had that set and used it, you know is pretty damn strong. That set will hold up. This set has been tested and works very well. These are all Impact rated, right? All, they're actually Impact. Those are Impact. That's yeah. out of the Impact 50. That's an Impact boy. Yeah, these are Impact and they are made from S2 steel. What the, where's the S2 logo? We're gonna update that. <laughs> uh, what next? One of those two. This is SFW100. This is a smaller of our thin wrenches. We have the SFW200, which we've shown, uh, I think a few times, but this is the smaller one. I wish I had a caliper so I could, actually, this is the MFW100. Yeah, that's a bigger set than our standard. Our standard's only five pieces. Okay, this is the metric. Not the we standard. also have the standard. It's pretty easy to remember the part numbers. SFW, standard flat wrench. MFW, metric flat wrench. 100, small kit. 200, big kit. Yep. These have been very reliable over the years because we've had them for a long time. And we, we rarely get, get them back. back. No, we don't get a lot back. So, there you go. They're thin wrenches, but they're still actually pretty freaking strong. You need a good set of thin wrenches that are lifetime warranty? MFW 100. This is the V613, uh, which is the part number for both of these. We do sell them individually which is the V610 and the V612 for prying body clips, you know, anything else that you can find use for with these. And this is a 20 inch long one. And this one is, I believe, seven, 10. 10. 10. Jesus. Did we just measure Yeah, we just measured. I thought we only did this one. No, we did it both. 10 10 inches, 20 inches. You give it them both in the V613. We do sell them individually if you need just one. And now we have, we're in, we started with a new product. Ending with and a new we're product. We're gonna end with a new product. You guys have seen the BCT1, which is this thingy. You bought a lot of them. Yep. Uh, they're from re- removing button style clips on EVAP lines and you know different like DEF fittings and whatnot. We have this new one, which has a different style jaw. They're more pointy. Show them the. 
on the inside. Tap on that. Show, show them what we're working with. For removing body Arr, clips. Mr. Squidward. All right, sorry. <laughs> For removing body clips. So now you can just come and pluck it off with your fingers, and it just fits in the palm of your hand. Swivels on the handle, swivels on the jaws. And if you're and these are these are spring loaded, so you don't have to. If you're somebody doing that all day, out. you keep that in your front pocket as opposed to having to do something like this. It's a lot more convenient. All day. Well, I was talking about your shirt, but yeah. Your shirt pocket. <laughs> most most mechanics. Your frocket. Most mechanics have one. Yeah, you're gonna keep it in your back pocket, right? No, not. Sure. Feels more comfortable. I wouldn't want to put this in my frocket. Yeah, you look like a mechanic for sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I think that's all we have for today, right? Yeah, that's it. All right. Make Great. sure you take advantage of our giveaway, the Piper's Pick. How much we got left? Two weeks? Mystery box. Mystery box. How giveaway. Long, two weeks left on that? We've got until the last week of May. Last week of May. So you just last two, week of May. a little bit over two weeks. Yeah. So go on our Instagram, like our first post, tag a friend. Make sure you're following us. Follow us on YouTube if you're not already and TikTok. And we'll see you next week. And they're getting some cool stuff in those mystery boxes. I mean, it's I, I didn't expect for us to be giving away that much, but that would be my fault. I, just, <laughs> I was gonna say we're I think we're getting too lazy well, to put this stuff away. We're giving away like three, four hundred bucks in each one, dude. No, I mean, the, the, <laughs> the description says three to five hundred dollar value. Yeah. And so when the last one was going out, I saw the box here. But they're they're definitely more. I saw, the, be more I than saw the box here and I was like, that doesn't look like enough. So I kind of threw some extra stuff in there. <laughs> All righty, guys, sign up. Share, like, whatever you got to do, enter in, and uh, we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace out.